Hey, Leo Dreger here. I just want to cover reg registry editor, uh, the 16-bit versus the 32-bit application. Now, easy thing you can do here, if you just wanted to brush up on some old skills, you would just write R-E-G-E-D-I-T, which was the 16-bit program determined by the naming convention because it's one word, and then versus R-E-G-E-D-T-32, which is basically the 32-bit version of Windows, uh, and then write comparison. If you do a little search here, you'll see there's plenty of easy ones um, that you could just get the basic uh, background on. Both of them are going to be Windows, registry, uh, Windows registry editors. So, right, so let's just go through each one of them. R E G E D I T. This is it. Uh, whoops. Say yes. Open it up. This is we've got the registry editor. And if you notice, if I call R E G E D T 32, it'll come up and basically probably make the same thing. And notice I don't get a new window that opens. So effectively, in later versions of Windows, they redirect you to the same thing, especially if you're anything 32-bit or later. Um, there may still be uh, an application, more of a wildcard application, if you'd ever realistically need a uh, reg edit. I mean, most people nowadays are using, you know, reg edit 32. Um, but to appreciate the differences, you have to realistically look uh, at the Windows architecture. Reg Edit, designed for 16-bit application, one, used object linking and embedding, um, and actually was maintained by the Windows on Windows 16-bit application. So they were, it was OLE and WOW, basically, is, you know, had the, the programming uh way of looking at that versus regedit 32 um, it, it, it's different altogether right this doesn't necessarily use the object linking embedding and technology so a lot of the actual values in the entries themselves are going to be much 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 different but you know the more powerful the one now that you're going to use in pretty much from here on out unless you're using a legacy system is going to be regedit 32 um, I mean, I, I seriously doubt that you're going to run into too many, you know, NT40, Windows 2000 uh, computers. If you do have them, okay, deal with them. Uh, but more than likely, everybody's going to be using at least 2003 version platforms uh, and later. Um, but you can go to just about any platform, no matter which one you're on, and just type in uh, REGEDT32 and go, start going through uh, basically the application. All right. One of the first things you're going to want to do once you get uh, Reg Edit open is basically find something. Okay. So please note find Control F, which is pretty standard, and then F3, which is find next. So most people, you know, do something like, you know, delete and then, you know, enter. It'll go through, find the first entry. And then from there, there on out, you just hit F3 and you can basically scroll through. Now, if you pick something super, super common, you know, you could have 10,000 entries of, you know, result that you search for but if you search for something specific you might be able to cycle through just three or four entries all together so I'm just you know for giggles at this point just pressing F3 on my keyboard just to show you that I keep going to you know one other option um, but yeah that's it regedit regedit 32 Easy comparison. Uh, those of you that have a operating system or a Windows background, or you've dealt with a lot of the legacy systems, anything you know, Windows three and later uh, to basically two thousand and three. This you already guys know this. For anybody else that doesn't have that background, these are kind of new tools for them, um, and they may have heard you know edit something in the registry, but they may not have realistically had too much hands-on time application because in the older days of computers, you definitely needed to use registry editor if you were a network administrator. Where today you use it, but you kind of use other tools as an interface and don't have to actually go manually edit that at the registry. So it's kind of an older tool that nowadays is frankly falling by the wayside. Um, so if you're a system administrator and you disagree with me or you're a programmer and developer and you disagree with me, I'll see you in the chat dialogue box. My name is Leo Drager and I'll talk to you soon.